Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'm going to talk about or show you reproductive histology. Um, in this first slide, what we're looking at at 40 times magnification is um, ovary. This is an ovary. I can tell it's an ovary because of these circular structures. This one, this little small one over here, another one here and part of one over here, those are follicles, follicles. And separating the follicles is stroma tissue. It's like a connective tissue with blood vessels and such inside of it, and it makes up most of the ovary. Um, let's, this is 40 times magnification. The next image, this is another image, also again, ovary, um, still at 40 times magnification. This is a follicle. This one's more developed, by the way, um, you can see that it's filled with fluid a bit. And then again, smaller follicles. Let's go to the next image. This is um, 450 times magnification, a close-up of one of the follicles. And what we see here in the center of the follicle is the oocyte, or the egg, or also called ovum. So that's an egg. Um, this purple line that you see around it, by the way, that's called the zona pellucida. That's the kind of tough, but kind of rubberyish substance that the sperm have to get through to get into the egg, zona pellucida. And then surrounding the um, ovum or oocyte are follicular cells. These are called follicular cells, also called granulosa cells. So again, the entire structure is called the follicle. This big cell in the center is called the egg or the oocyte or ovum. And the cells that surround that oocyte are called follicular cells or granulosa cells. Those are the structures of the follicle. Let's go to the next image. This is just another follicle. This one's 100 times magnification. And again, follicular cells around the outside or granulosa cells. And then in the center is the oocyte. And again, the whole structure is called a follicle. And by the way, since we're here at this magnification and we can see them, this would be another oocyte and another oocyte, um, just at a different um, stage of development. Here's another image. This, this is that same follicle, by the way, from the last image, but at high magnification. And again, the entire structure is the follicle. These cells around the oocyte are called follicular cells. And of course, that's the oocyte. And if you recall from before, this uh, outer covering of the oocyte, um, that's called zona pellucida. Uh, by the way, you can't see a nucleus here. That's because it's only caught a piece of the oocyte here. Moving on to the next image, this is back to 40 times magnification. And this is truly what we would call a graphian follicle because it has this large fluid-filled space or large antrum. Um, again, we see the oocyte in almost the center of the image, and then around it are follicular cells or granulosa cells. So this is the one that I use usually in my lab exams for um, graphian follicle. Let's go to the next image. This is just another probably the same graphian follicle by the way just a different slice through it but again follicular cells or granulosa cells and the oocyte in the center and the whole thing again is graphian follicle all right we've moved away from the female now we're into the male um, this is a uh, section of testicle and we're looking at the outer part of the testicle out here the testicle is surrounded by this um, dense, irregular connective tissue covering um, called the testicular capsule. So this is testicular capsule out here. And then in this space here, we see um, the little tubes in which the sperm develop. And those are called seminiferous tubules. And sometimes they are elongated. Sometimes they're relatively circular-ish. Uh, and that all depends on the angle at which the slice happened to catch them. And because these tubes are going 
kind of, they're, they're convoluted. They're kind of going in and out. Then you see all these different weird shapes, but they're all seminiferous tubules. Let's go to the next image. This is also testicle, also at 40 times magnification, which the last one was as well. And again, we see seminiferous tubules, lots of seminiferous tubules. And again, those are the tubes in which the sperm develop. Let's move on to the next image. This is 100 times magnification. Seminiferous tubule here, seminiferous tubule here. And now we're starting to see the interstitial um, cells or Leydig cells, which are between the tubules. So between the seminiferous tubules, we have interstitial cells. Um, there's actually different types of cells in here, but the major type um, are called Leydig cells, and their function is to make testosterone. Let's go to the next image. This is high magnification, 450 times magnification of the testicle. And again, we see a seminiferous tubule, and now I could talk about these cells that line the seminiferous tubule, um, they're called spermatogenic cells. And they are the cells that either actually divide and give rise to the um, sperm or the cells that take care of the sperm as they develop, which are called Sertoli cells. Um, this cell down here, by the way, is one of the spermatogonia. It's, going, it's the stem cell that's going to divide and give rise to sperm. So what I have my students just know is these are spermatogenic cells because I don't go to that deeper level of Sertoli cells and spermatogonia and primary and secondary spermatocytes and all of that. So again, at least for my students, when you see this, types of questions I'll ask, what organ does the section come from? This comes from testicle. And um, what's the structure at the pointer, which would be this big circle? That's seminiferous tubule. Um, what are the cells at the pointer here? Those are spermatogenic cells. And then the other structure to know is out here, um, between the seminiferous tubules, I would be pointing to Leydig cells or interstitial cells. And again, those make testosterone. Uh, another note while we're here, you can see a blood vessel coming through here, and those are red blood cells inside of it. Moving on to the next image, um, also for reproductive, and this is 100 times magnification. And these are actually sperm. They happen to be bull sperm, but they're, they're sperm. Human sperm look very similar. At 450 times magnification, now you can see the heads of the sperm and you can see the tails. Thank you. Um, so we've got sperm, and we saw a testicle, and we saw ovary. Let's do a quiz. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Um, again, major questions that I might ask. Name the organ that this section comes from. And the answer to that, this organ that this section comes from is an ovary. So the answer would be ovary. Let's look at this one and um, we could ask that same question. What organ does it come from? And again, that is ovary. If I put my pointer on this structure here and said name this structure, it'd be the whole thing. What would that be? And the answer to that is follicle. This is a follicle. That would also be true, by the way, if I put the pointer on this little one over here. If I said name the structure, it'd be follicle. Here at high magnification, now we can do the parts of that follicle. So again, I'll start with that first question. What organ does this section come from? And the answer to that is ovary. And then if I put the pointer here in this big cell here and I said, name this cell, the answer to that would be, the answer is oocyte or ovum or egg even. So the big cell is an egg. If I put the pointer where it is right now and said, name these cells, those would be granulosa cells or follicular cells. And again, for those of you that want to go even deeper than that, you can see this coating around the egg here. What do we call that? The answer to that is zona pellucida. And I think those are all the major structures I might ask about um, for the ovary. So let's move on. 
Oh, one more. If I put the pointer on this and said name the structure, so the whole thing, what would this be? And the answer to that one is this is a graphene follicle. And again, the way that you know it's a graphene follicle is there's a it's got this big fluid filled space. And then again, I could also ask about these cells here, which again would be granulosa cells or follicular cells, or I could ask to name the cell in here. And that again would be oocyte or egg. All right. Moving out of the next one, um Name the organ that this section comes from. And the organ in this case would be testicle. This is from a testicle or a testis, you could put. And if I put the pointer on one of these little roundish structures, what would that structure be? And the answer to that is seminiferous tubule. And then if I put the pointer on this tissue up here, what would that be? And the answer to that is testicular capsule. Testicular capsule. All right, moving on to the next image. Um, mostly the same stuff here. So what organ does this section come from? And the answer is testicle. Um, what is this structure at the pointer? And that is seminiferous tubule. Let's go to high magnification. And again, what organ does the section come from? That should be real easy at this point. The answer is testicle. Name the structure at the pointer, which means the entire thing. And the answer to that is seminiferous tubule. Name the cells at the pointer. And that would be spermatogenic cells. And then name the cells here. And that would be interstitial cells or Leydig cells. And then lastly for the quiz, when I, when I do it, I do it at this magnification. What are the cells that you see in this field? And the answer to that, of course, is sperm cells. You're seeing sperm. And that's it. I hope this has helped you understand reproductive histology. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them, please leave them down below. Thank you once again for watching.